March 29th, 2009. Am I correct? Yes, I am correct, because I was still in high school. First time I ever performed for a real audience in New York City. When I got off stage, I was excited, and I came in the office. They told me a few stories about Chris and Tony, and we laughed. And he said, here's the thing I'm going to tell you. When you get on stage, they already know your, the name. They hear your name, they already know who you're related to, what your family is. You don't have to fight to make a name. You have to fight to keep a name. The Clan of Rocks, the Chris, the Tony, the Sherrod, and now the Jordan. Are there others that I don't know? Jordan is the youngest brother that we didn't think could happen. <laughs> Nepotism in comedy is a whole different thing. Because it don't really work like that. Like, nepotism at like a business, like a hardware store, and your father owns it, and you work there, that's one thing. Comedy is not a store or a thing. So nepotism only might make people look at you, but what keeps them looking at you is what you do. I gotta be instantly funny. Like now you build it up. I can't be, I can't, I, no slack. Like why people you guys come out awesome to comedy clubs? You guys make a great audience. Come out like, you know what? I am here to laugh. Black people come out completely different. It's more like, you know what? Make me laugh, nigga. <laughs> I have so many young comics come up to me and they, they want to know how to make it, you know? No one asks me, how can I get better? I never get asked that, you know? It's always, how do I make it? I was taking out with this white dude before. He had the nerve to say, I, we, we, we're walking to a corner, right? And cabs slow down. And he's gonna say, these motherfuckers always think I want to get in. The only thing I've learned from the podcast is people that succeed and remain successful work their fucking asses off. There's no way around it. I'm fearful for George. Because you have to understand, when Chris started, he was at home. If anything happened, we were there. If something didn't get done, he just walked downstairs and say, Mommy, whatever. Jordan doesn't have that. Jordan is here on his own. And I mean, he came at 18 years old and was in an apartment in New York by himself. I is good, man. Coming to the stage, the gentleman has been featured in an article in Punchline Magazine. He's been seen on Last Comic Standing, Comedy Central. He's here. He's funny. Let's welcome Jordan Rock to the stage, y'all. Jordan Rock!